Hello and welcome to Dumb Some Hobbies. And if you saw the thumbnail for this video, because I've already made the thumbnail before I even made the video, you might have thought that the thumbnail was absolute clickbait, right? Well, it's not absolute clickbait. It's not clickbait at all. In fact, the thumbnail is 100% real. So let me tell you just a little bit of a backstory here. Uh, if I can grab him. He's playing in a box. He's, he decided that he wants to play in a box. This is my boy. Tigger in a box. He's adorable. Look at him trying to get me. <laughs> He's a dork. Let me tell you a quick little problem I've been having with him, and I'll just let him play in his box. So, for about, I'd say, eight months now, almost a year. I simply don't know why, and we could not figure out a true answer, but he's been throwing up. He's been throwing up whenever he eats his dinner, and he doesn't do it every single day, he just does it every now and again, and as a pet owner, as a pet lover, um, he's my best friend, and I simply, it simply just sucks not knowing if there's something wrong with your cat. And I've gone through just about every scenario it could possibly be. I've tried uh, different foods. I fed, I fed him not the best food ever. Uh, I feed him Friskies. Friskies uh, wet food. And I know that's not the best food ever, but my cats love Friskies. So that's why I feed to him. Um, and I thought, well, maybe there was something in the canned food that he simply doesn't like. So, I tried dry food, and a totally different product of dry food, too. And he still grew up on that, so he he grew up on bulk dry food, on bulk wet food, and then I tried blue, I've tried um, IMs, I've tried different companies of wet food as well, and he still throws up, and at that point, I did, I did take him to the vet, and the vet told me that he is 100% healthy, they could not find something wrong with him, uh, they thought, well maybe he has a hairball or every now and again, um, uh, and they checked down his throat to see if anything was lodged down his throat, there was nothing, and uh, they told me, you know what, um, give him some hairball medicine and comb him more, you know, groom him more. Um, and that, that way he won't have to do it all himself, and maybe he won't have such a lot, a large uh, cat hairball that gets stuck. Uh, maybe it's stuck in his throat, not choking him. It wouldn't be big enough to choke him, but when he eats, it wouldn't go all the way down, and when he tries to cough up the uh, hairball, well, guess what? It's blocking the food, too. So the food comes up with the hairball. And I've never seen a hairball with the food, but. No, that could be a problem, and that's what the uh, doctor told me. That wasn't it. Um, gave him the hairball mask and calmed them. He still threw up. He still threw up. And I simply ended up giving up, and I went, and I took him twice uh, to two different doctors, and they told me the exact same thing. It's probably a uh, lodge or something like that. Uh, uh, and he doesn't do it every day, you know? That's the thing. And Mama Kay doesn't do it at all. His mother, uh, Katrina, she doesn't do it at all. It's only him, and he does it not every single day, but every once in a while. And I simply don't know why. He's just done. So I eventually came to the conclusion, okay, you know what? He's probably, I'm just going to have to call him a special needs cat. It's probably something I'm going to have to deal with. Uh, every now and again, and you know, you know it sucks that this could possibly be for the rest of his life. Because you know what? Even though he doesn't do it every day, he does it. I want to say two, three times a month, um, and that's really not good. That's he, he's two years old. 
that's cat food not getting down your throat, and I know what you guys are going to say. Uh, what if it's because he's eating too fast? Well, then I started watching him eat, and he's not eating too fast. He eats slower than Mama Kitty, actually. So I started deciding, well, maybe it's the size of bite he's eating. So I cut up his food smaller. That wasn't it. And then it's gotten so... It's gotten to the point where every time I feed him, I stand over him. And, guys, be honest with yourselves. Would you like to eat every time you eat? Every time you grab the hammer, I don't care what it is. Every time you eat, you had your uh, dad or mom standing over you, watching you eat? No. Tigger doesn't like it when I stand over him and watch him eat. You know, it, it's annoying. You know? Um, and I understand that, but I have to make sure he eats. And it's gotten so bad to the point where if I don't walk away, he won't eat. Believe it or not. He's done that about three or four times now where if I try to feed him uh, and stand over him, I have to walk away and watch him from a distance because he doesn't let, let he doesn't like me standing over his shoulder watching him eat. I mean, I can't blame him. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to eat, eat like that. I wouldn't want my dad or mom standing over me watching me eat every time I ate. That would just be absolutely annoying. So I simply don't know what's wrong with them. And then I started looking up uh, cat toys. Um, and the reason why is because of totally different subjects. I started looking up cat toys because I wanted to buy cat toys and I bought him the uh, Cat 2.0 Digger. And I started looking up products from Cat uh, just because I like their toys and stuff like that. Which, here's a little bit of a disclaimer right now. And at first it seems pretty silly, um, but it turns out, and when I watched their video about it and everything, I'll leave a link to their video in the description below, I eventually did more research on it, and it turns out it's because of the type of bowl I'm using. The type of bowl that I'm using could possibly be the reason why my buddy down here keeps throwing up. And, uh, that seems absolutely ridiculous, but it's the only thing I have to go off of, and it, it sucks being a cat owner and worrying if there's something wrong with your cat, especially if you don't know what's wrong with your cat. You know, a nice doctor told me checked his stools or anything, how is he pooping, how is he feeling? He's perfectly healthy, except he blows up every now and again. A cat bowl, the cat bowl you buy at a store, I bought my cat bowls at Walmart, believe it or not. Cat bowls are designed just like dog bowls. You're basically feeding your cat out of a dog bowl. And when we eat our esophagus, the way we sit, our esophagus and our stomach are in a way where when we eat, the food goes down. Well, cats, if you feed them out of a dog bowl, they have to lean forward and grab their food. And by leaning forward, that means their esophagus is in line with their stomach, and if they eat just a little bit too fast, because he does get excited about food, if he eats just a little bit too fast, and by the way, he still eats slower than Katrina most states, but if he eats just a little bit too fast, gets a little bit more excited than you know, it causes him to grow up. At least, that's the most likely cause that we have figured out. So... With this cat bowl, made by Cat, being designed specifically for cats, it's designed to be at the right height for cats to be at. I think it's a great product, and I'm giving it 5 out of 5 stars right off the bat, because it's supposed to be designed to um, be just at their neck at the perfect angle for most cats, you know, some cats are bigger, some cats are smaller, but generally it's designed perfectly for a normal cat to eat it off of the plate and it's at a certain angle where, you know, the esophagus and everything is down below so it will just go down the throat and it's a, uh, 
a it's a lifted pole too. It's raised up too to their height. So I think that is really really cool, and it possibly could save my cat because you know you never know. Maybe maybe for example because of the way I fit him out of a cat bowl, maybe it, I'm lucky that it hasn't gotten caught in his throat. I'm lucky that he just throws up and hasn't been choking on it and dies. You know, as as much as that sucks to say, as a cat owner, as a cat lover, that's the reality I'm dealing with. Oh, so yeah, my little buddy here has got a new cable. I think it's just hilarious. Look at him. Look at him. He's in the box. He's in the box. <laughs> this is what this is what he gets inside though. He's in the box. Cats are so silly. I'll let you put them. I hope he can get out of this. If not, I might have to help him later. Okay, so I actually have a couple of packages here. I don't know which one the uh, food bowl is going to be in. This might be... I also bought the, uh, the cat water system, which is just a water fountain for cats. Again, it's designed perfectly for them to drink at at a certain angle and raise and everything. It's pretty cool. I don't know if that's in this box or the other box. Um, if it is in this box, I'll just put this box down and that will be next week's video. As of, because this video is supposed to be on uh, the cat books. So, let me go ahead. Obviously, I'm showing that I'm a great box opener. Because I. Oh, come on. It's just tape. It's just tape. Why is this so wide open? Okay, yeah. It's like it is. It's like it is the uh, cat bowls. So, again, I bought two. I'm just going to show you one, but I bought two because, of course, I have. Uh, so here it is, little box. I like Cat's little box. I think I think the design is pretty cool. Where did I put my scissors? Wait, I'm losing everything. Huh? Down my scissors. Let's pop them open. I'm gonna show you the box one more time because I really like the box. I think that it's cute. Alright. Oh, it's dang. It's actually bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Hey, that's just fine. So, I'll show you it. Uh, and then there's a little thank you card. That's it for that box. Tigger will probably go play with it. So, this is Tigger's new bowl. And, again, the angle of the bowl is perfect for them to feed off of. Yeah, and then this is called a paw pit. It's just like with the Dig It toy. Cats can, if you want them to, put little dry food treats in there and they have to dig it out. I think that is pretty cool. And another thing is, it's actually a little bit of a storage unit. Now, I knew going in from the reviews that this is not actually big enough for a normal can of cat food, so, but you can hide treats in here and they wouldn't be able to get it, so. That is probably what I am going to do. And yeah, there's the bowl. Now, let's actually go and see if the cats will use it. And see them? Now, generally I feed wet food and it's pretty fine to feed wet food right here. The thing is, it's not their dinner time. 
So I'll give them a treat and see how they like it. I'll see how they like using this. Come on, Bob. You know who I am. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on, Bob. You know you want to. Come on. He's never eaten out of something like this before, so. There he goes. Tigger, the trick is to eat. Yeah. Yeah, now you got it. Yeah, now you got it, bub. Yeah, now you got it, bub. Yeah, now you got it, bubba. Okay, so now the trick is to entice Katrina to come over and eat. Katrina's going to be the hard one. He's standing right over there. She's going to be the hard one. Mama Key's going to be the hard one to convince. There's Tigger Pond. There he goes. There he goes, pawing at the food. There she goes. There she goes, she figured it out. Oh, I'm so happy. That is such a good girl. That's my girl. Like 10 minutes later, after finishing the video, she finally did. I'll just slap this on the back. Thank you for watching my mouth. I'm glad she figured it out.